Mm. I first started off when I made my first Australian team when I was 14 for an under 15 tournament in Japan. There, it kind of progressed to me making a senior team in about 2008. Um, I would go on and qualify for my first Olympics in London in 2012. And uh, in 2014, um, the big milestone for me was a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. And yeah, hopefully trying to make my second Olympics. So that's, that's where I am at right now. Uh, last 12 months uh, has just been a lot of, uh, you know, just obviously a lot of training, um, a lot of travel. Um, judo is one of the sports where you have to travel a lot no matter what, even if it's just for training. So we'll go to Japan or something like that that's pretty close by. That's, you know, really, really good for it. Um, you know, a lot of competitions overseas just uh, trying to gain uh, world ranking points to, to be eligible to qualify for, for the games. Uh, next couple of months, uh, this comes down to solar box of training, just being as prepared as I can be for uh, the last qualifier in April, which will be the Oceania Championships in, actually in Australia, in Canberra. So just trying to be as prepared as I can be for that. I think this time around I can have my feet planted a bit more. Last time I went, it was just all a bit of a blur, it's a bit younger, a bit more naive back then here, a little bit older, a little bit wiser. So hopefully I can just make a sense of it, the whole situation a little bit more. There's no better feeling really, is there, than representing your country? I don't like it's not really a feeling you can kind of put into words. Um, just a lot of pride, I guess, and just the support that you get from the games is just unbelievable. You can't. Like, a lot of people try and ask me what being an Olympian and going to the Olympics is like, and it's the best kind of word I can use for it. It's surreal. The whole experience is surreal, but it's just filled with so many emotions with it, and I think pride's a big one of them.